in the fish tank, which uh, well, is a bit narrow, so it was not really the ideal geometric uh, configuration for the survey. But still, we managed to get some uh, well, correct results. Uh, we took about 15 uh, pictures uh, and uh, well, processed everything, so using the targets that are on the, um, on the propeller. So we'll let uh, Jean-Baptiste uh, explain you the process, that, the processing that he did, and show the results that, uh, that we obtained. So I, I took about uh, 15 photos in the aquarium. Um, there was targets on, uh, on the propeller, and there is automatic recognition of the targets uh, on each image. And uh, finally, we got uh, the final result is um, a 3D model of uh, uh, of all the targeted points, the, the computed targeted points. So I can show you in the in the 3D uh, viewer. interface is um, the point, the measured point on the propeller you see here with different uh, colors the colors is, uh, are associated to the uh, geometrical status uh, the, the quality of the depth spatial determination um, the final result of the bundle adjustment I can show There is one line with all the internal parameters of the camera which are computed uh, the with a lot of parameters like uh, the focal length, uh, uh, principal point, radial distortion, etc. And the difference between uh, computed values and uh, measured values on the, on the propeller are these values in millimeters. So you see we are half a millimeter above the <coughs> So that means that uh, with a standard camera, uh, we can reach an accuracy uh, of uh, half a millimeter in a configuration that uh, it's a bit poor because uh, the aquarium is not very large. We, can, we can't turn around the object. So, uh, can reach uh, an accuracy uh, which is uh, 